Hey, it's Lisa with Fossil Fine and Female. Also, it's easy, easy, and um, exercise with me. Just 10 minutes, say you feel better. I am coming to you today live from Tula Rosa, June 1st, 2023. We welcome June. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I got some of my recent finds I was going to show and see what you think. Some of them do look like tools to me, especially like this one. I mean, you know, like some of them look more so than others. This looks like it's a, it was used as a tool. Very interesting. It also is kind of shaped like a heart. Um, it's got the nice um, sharpness right along here. It's a pretty cool looking tool. This one looks like a tool. Feels like a tool, might be a tool. <laughs> I'm not sure what it was, would be used for though. If you know, please leave a comment. Thanks for joining me today to see some of these cool finds from here in New Mexico. Here's another interesting find. Um, I don't know if it's a tool or not. It kind of looks like it could have been the way that the bottom is, but it doesn't really look like it's been I don't know, used a lot, but here it's flat and it's got coloration, so I think it could have possibly been something that was alive, so not geology, but biology. I've had a sense that a lot of the things I've been finding and looking at was once alive, and then someone turned me on to Mud Fossil University, and I watched his research and his DNA findings and stuff, and it, there's absolutely things that have, was in the Great Flood, and that's what I believe in the Great Flood, that have fossilized. So all sorts of animals, and, you know, he's got a lung from a giant and um, fingers from a giant. It's crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. But this was kind of a cool-looking stone. Hopefully you can see it okay. I'm trying to move it around a little bit. Got nice colors, especially on this side. That's why I'm thinking it was used as a tool, because it looks like it's been cut, possibly, or chipped away. One side's rough, the other side not, and then it has a nice little bulb here, unless that used to be part of a body of something. Don't know, but it's still a nice, nice one. This also looks like it was a tool. Right in here would be used for scraping, I'm assuming. Here's an, another colorful stone. I don't know if you can see it's orange, yellow, browns. It's flat on that side right there. So maybe it was used as a polisher stone. But I don't really know. Let's see if I can get this over here. So you can see, maybe you can see it better at a different angle or something. Always having trouble with that. Anyway. There's that. This one also looked like a tool. It's got that little lip right there that looks like it was actually made, cut, you know, cut that way. a cool little stone again I'll think a lot of this stuff actually was biologically alive back however long ago and um, then they made those things into tools this is interesting it's a kind of a, a greenish color with some dark in it kind of looks like a pantene type stuff when it's used a lot But I'm not sure. If you know, please leave a comment. Or if you have a suggestion or any information would be good. This also looked like a tool. Right here it's sharper. Has a place here for the thumb. Or yeah, like that. So it like that. It's um Flattened here, it's flat on one side completely, and then it's sharp right along here.
Those mosquitoes are like insane around here these days. This also appears to be a tool. But I don't know. It could just be, um, see, I think they cut this right here out. Do you see where that is, that little lip? And I find so many of these similar shaped, maybe different material. I'm not sure what kind of material this is even. I'm not really sure. Let's see if I can see better over here. Can you see it better? Maybe like that. Oh, I don't know. Let me know if you can't see it that well. And Because, I mean, it's, of course you can see it so much better if you're actually holding it, touching it, smelling it, tasting it. Um... And I wish you could. If you live around here in New Mexico, yes, please come check these out. I'd love to share this stuff with some others. That's why I made this channel, like-minded people that are out looking at just the curiosities of life, the mysteries of life, things that are out, you know, telling us basically more about our history than what the people that are in control tell us, that control our government, control our schools, control our health. That's why health is the beast system. Hopefully you're not on medications. But if you are, try to get onto some natural stuff. If you have any questions about health, you know, I worked in the ER for 20 years. Oh God, thank goodness I got out of that. But anyway, I could maybe help you with some of your questions if you want to go from Western medicine to natural medicine. Anyway, um, this is an interesting shape of a stone. Again, to me, it looks like something that possibly was once alive. And now it is stone. Fossilized something. Another one of these tools that looks similar to the one I showed you here. See how they're cut out? Right here, this one's cut out. You may not be able to see it as well, but there's a little lip on it. This one's a little deeper. This one's a different material. Different type of... And I don't really know what that kind of stuff is. If you do, please leave a comment and share your wealth of information. It's greatly appreciated. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Another oddity. The bottom. Hopefully, you can see it. It's an interesting piece of stone. And here we have another interesting piece of stone. They're all interesting to me. They're all cool. They're all fascinating, intriguing. Fun to look for. And to just kind of um, kind of look into it, you know, research a little bit of it. If anyone has any information, I'd love to hear what you know or have learned. This one's just, you know, a cool, it could just be a rock. I really don't know. But it is a cool one, regardless. And since I'm putting a lot of these into the earth home that I'm building, out of adobe like mud... I think it would be really cool to put a bunch of these in however design I want to. It's going to be nice. I have plenty of stone. And I'm also going to do like a walkway pathway. It'll be a lot of fun to do that. Here is another interesting stone. Interestingly shaped. It's white. It could have been something alive. It has even a little face there. A lot of stones, when I first started looking at them, I started noticing they were looking back at me, and I was like, that's odd. This one's also just odd. I like to pick up the unusual, if you haven't noticed. Whether it's a tool or not, heck, I don't know. I could have just been broke that way.
has a little appendage here. I don't know what that is. I mean, I, I find a lot that's like that too. Um, so my thoughts is it, you know, it was something once alive. I mean, there's even a place right here where it could have been like an eye. Okay, this, that's when this comes in handy. You know, it zaps them. Sorry. I see them flying around me and I've already got like four bites. I'm just so sick of those blood-sucking things, especially since Bill Gates had made, um, set out a lot of um, mosquitoes supposedly to kill the female or the one that creates malaria, but I don't believe that if you study about who he is. Mm -mm, he's a depopulation guy, so I doubt the mosquitoes are actually, uh, I, the ones he set out are actually to help the population. I believe it's to harm us, so. Make sure you have, don't wear DEET, you know, but some essential oils and stuff like that. I'm trying a whole bunch of different ones to see what works best. This one's a, a different looking stone. Kind of looks like it could have been used as a tool. But it also could, could have been a fish that fossilized. You know, heck, I don't know. It kind of looks like one. I have some that really look like them. Here's another interesting stone, a shape. Looks like a fish again. The tail. And the <laughs> I don't know. Because, you know, if you think once it was um, the mud and all the flood was on everything, they would keep somewhat. Oh, there's a bee. They would keep. Okay, I wonder if this thing would zap a bee. Who knows? <laughs> it's a zapper. It's like, ding, it electrocutes them. Anyway, they're laying under mud and water for so long. And then they fossilize and go through the chemical exchange and gases exchange. And um, they pretty much keep their shape except for they're smashed on one side. And if you haven't seen um, Mud Fossil University's research and what he's doing for the last 10 years, you should check it out. I'll try to remember to put it on the link down below so that you can just... Oh, did you hear that? I love that. That's so great when you get them. I'll try to put that link on the bottom if I don't forget. I'm trying not to be so forgetful, but with all the chemtrails that are in the air, you know, where it messes with our brain. This is just a cool, possibly could have been a tool. It could have just been something that was alive, or it could just be a cool stone. Regardless, it's cool. And uh, this one's interesting. I don't know. It seems like maybe you can see it better a different way, possibly. Let's see if it works better this way. Change everything around. I don't know. I really still I can see it so much better just looking at it. And I wish I could give you the best view possible. But again, this kind of looks like something that was possibly once alive. It really don't look like a tool to me. I don't see where it would have been used. But, you know, shoot, if it's really old, old, old. Let me turn around and see if I can see it better in a different angle somewhere. That's better. So it was just a cool-looking tool. I mean, a cool-looking stone. <laughs> cool and tool rhyme, so, you know. Uh, let's see. I have a whole little box here that I've have accumulated um here's another cool looking what i think possibly is or was a tool we hold it like maybe this but see i don't know it's like right here looks like it was been kind of worked but like I said, regardless, I am still think it's cool. Cool, cool. Real cool. Here's some others. Another one of those that are shaped kind of odd. If you can see it, it's, there we go. Maybe that's better. It's wet. Sometimes it's better to see them not wet, and then it's actually better to see them dry and wet, so you can kind of get... But it's, um, I don't know what this material is either. Anyway, I thought it was a cool 
And here's another one of those that are, I think is a tool. And this one, what are we on? Oh, 15 minutes, so I should get off here pretty soon. I like to keep it at either 15 to 20 minutes, so I could do 20. But this one's just an, I find a lot of these that are shaped like an L. I'm not really sure what they'd use it for. If you know, please leave a comment. But I find lots of them, different materials, you know, differently shaped in a way. But they all kind of look like an L. Now, I was thinking they could also be like the neck and head of something. There would be the eye right here. So I'm not I'm not sure but um, again a cool stone regardless this one there maybe. different color so it looks like it's inside another stone or it's you know actually fossilified like a bone and then this is the other stuff that's around the bone or near the bone because it does look like a bone to me but what do you think? It's very, 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 very interesting and intriguing. Don't you think? I do. Oh, we have this and this and this and this one is cool. Let's see if you can see it better. Like, there we go. So it's a huge, almost square. It's got really sharp along the edges. I've got one in my hand I need to put down so that you can I can do this correctly right along here is you can see where there are looks like it may have been used as a scraper or something I don't know if you can see it as well but there's little ridges along there it's sharp and so possibly and it sits flat so one side is completely flat right there and the other side kind of has this lip on it. There's another one like that that I think is possibly a tool, but maybe not. Got a lot of those. I find lots and lots of those. So they're very interesting to find so many. And then a lot that kind of are shaped either like a head of something. Uh, a lot of them have where eyes would be. And the mouth. This one is a really nice colored one. Pretty yellow, brown, beige, gray. This one kind of looks like um, chert. It's very soft. This one I found in Alabama, though. And um, it was obviously in water, like, when I found it. It's just an interesting stone. And it could have been something alive. There was a couple other ones I was wanting to show you before the time is up. Let's see if I can grab those real quick. Another one. This one's pretty cool looking. I have so many. I mean, jeez. It's interesting, isn't it? And I'd love to go live so that, you know, we can interact and um, that would be amazing. But you have to have a thousand subscribers. So if you would, please like and subscribe so that I can go live. That would just make things so much better. But this was an interesting piece as well. And this one is not the one I wanted to show you, but I picked it up already. So I'll show you real quick. It's just an odd shaped 
stone, rock. It's flat on one side, so I'm thinking they could have used it as a polisher. It looks like it even has like some Pantene type looking on there. And here's a cool looking one. Looks like this part right here was kind of cut out for something. It's flat on that side. See how flat that is? It looks like it was used a lot on that little corner there. And it has a nice spot right here, you know, like ergonomic, ergonometry or whatever. It fits well in your hand and you never know. Never know. That's some, one of the things I look for, but also I know someone had commented that that doesn't make it a tool, you know, that it's ergonomically fitting, and I agree. It's a lot of different things to look at. But that's why I'm showing you two on here so that you can maybe give your input. That's just a pretty stone. I don't know if it's something that was once alive or not. Here's another oddity. Like, I find a lot that could have been an eye, like right there. And maybe that's where that um, rock art comes from is because so many things do look like it was once alive or it was an animal or something. And so possibly it was and we're just calling it rock art. Could have been used as a tool too, but I don't know. But I like it regardless. Like I said, I like it regardless. And where is that one? This is pretty cool too here. Kind of was shaped like a heart. Interesting looking stone. That's the front and then that's the back. And, oh, I've already done 22 minutes, so I should get off of here. Let's see if I got one more I can show you that I wanted to show you, but I will do another video tomorrow with the rest of these. So, uh, let's see, who is it? Cool looking one. This one is Flint. Looks like it was used as a tool because of the way it's on the top has been used. You can see that. Anyway, thanks for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And please leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Bye.